Hi guys, welcome back to Bear Talks. My name is Tijane Kemi and I'm here with... D. it's been a minute. It's it? been a it's bloody been a minute. minute. Well, Happy guys, New Year. This is what? It's, what's this? Tea with Bear Talks? Yeah. Oh, uh, little snippet. Just, yeah. Just a Quick tea with Bear Talks. Just a little conversation. A little hot topic. Cool, cool. So yeah, let's get right into it. Yeah, so... What you got for me? Um, nah, you know what? I wanted to talk about this thing, um, Davido and Wizkid. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, about, they're uh, hugging in the club. <laughs> yeah. Doing a romance. <laughs> Aggressively. Is that a romance thing? <laughs> well, I don't know. Like, my opinion, I feel like it was for publicity because oh. they've never been cool. Yeah. Do you know no, what I but mean? But that's the thing. People can read things differently, like, and funny. Mm. How I read it is they're hugging mad aggressive, like. <laughs> and you get me on Whiskey's like, bruv, I outdone you last year. <laughs> Got a Grammy. <laughs> you know? And David was like, don't worry. This year I'm going to go hard. <laughs> Maybe that's what they were saying with each of his ears. Because to me, I don't believe it until I see a collaboration. True. That's true, what I do. With. True. So when I see a collab, I know that yeah, this is real. Yeah, they've they've squashed their beef. Exactly. They're ready to make some money because but I feel like them two together can yeah. actually make good music. That would be a banger. Because look at Burner Boy and Wizkid. No, even that. They, I was gonna say, imagine Wizkid, Burner Boy, and Devido on one track. Hey, yeah, Yo, yeah, yeah! It's fire on the mic. That would be straight fire brands. in the ball. <laughs> straight Grammys all around. Like, Do you get what I mean? Serious. They need to work on something like that. Yeah. But seriously, this is why I would like to see them actually getting along and everything because mm. bruv, music, every, this is love out here, man. Yeah, everyone for real, just, man. Everyone can make it. Man. Everyone can make good music. Everyone can work together and make this money. Do you get what I mean? Exactly. And I just feel like that Nigerian mentality of, you know, when you're just, when you're in a feud with somebody and, you just cut all ties. You yeah. don't want to work with no one that they're working with. You don't yeah. want to associate yourself. It's just, it's wrong. Yeah. Like, but business can be business. Too. You don't have to be friends. Yeah, true. You don't have to be paddy paddy. But if you know you both have talent and you can work together and make money and make good music, why not? True, why not, why not, why not? So, but yeah, maybe a little bromance or yeah. maybe a little best friend. But like shit. I said, <laughs> I will believe it and accept it when I see a collab. So please, guys, drop a collab. I'm, I've been... I swear, I, when I was born, I was waiting on that. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. So, what's next? Next, we're going to talk about relationships. Nigerian men in relationships and... Should I go call someone who knows about those <laughs> on the panel? Because <laughs> Obviously, we're talking about Nigerian men because we are Nigerian yeah. and we can relate to that. So, obviously, we've got that little stereotype about Nigerian men being fraud stars, being dogs, you know. Well, I wouldn't call it a stereotype, but probably it's the truth. No, but no. Um, anyways, um, in terms of dating a Nigerian man, I personally don't date them anymore because I've had two bad experiences. Yeah, but, um, all right, let me explain this here. Yeah. When you say Nigerian men, there's different levels. There's the 1.0, <laughs> which is basically English but Nigerian. You get okay. Me? Speaks a little bit. Yeah. Yoruba, Aaron, there. there, yeah. Then there's the Nigerian 1.5. Okay. The one that was out born there, there and came out. Mm-hmm. Then there's just the Nigerian 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> so, what level of Nigerian? Okay, I'm talking, talking about, about the first. 1.0 yeah, yeah 1.0 okay because that's majority majority is 1.0 or they were born here and came yeah 2.5 2.5 1.5 yeah. cool so those two men is who i'm talking about yeah but this is what i'm trying to say you can't always judge all men as the same of course you can't but a lot of nigerian men have that same mentality <laughs> that same behavior what, do you get what, what i mean what so what okay saying? in relationships okay so like one thing that i've seen about some nigerian men not all but some yeah. especially yoruba yeah can be very stingy with money can be very obsessed with other girls yeah. not content with what they have and lastly um very overprotective like <laughs> you know why i have to laugh here because 
Not all men are like. No, I didn't say all, all men. This is why I said some. I, yeah. So don't come and bite me or <laughs> trolls because I said some. But yeah, like, am I lying? Um, to a certain extent, I would say you are lying. No. You see, all right. You see, I'm like, not. All right, like this, for instance, yeah. It's like me saying Nigerian women, 1.0, 1. 1.5, 1. 1. 1. 1. or 2. All right, if you're 2.0, you're about the money. Okay. Straight about the money, the beat for the money, everything for the money. Okay. 1.5, you're about the money, but you'll pay sometimes. Yeah? Okay. Now, one, you don't have none of those tricks. <laughs> I've had Nigerian 1.0 girls that actually, they buy you things. Then they meet 1.5 Nigerian women. <laughs> They buy them. <laughs> Jack noodles. And they start teaching them these new traits. Well, in my experience, in it. The last Nigerian man I spoke to stole all my money. So, do you get it? Like, what am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> do you get wait, wait, wait. How did he steal your... What? How did he first have <laughs> access to your money? Because... I was, in my okay, books, so I was yeah, 18. You could be anywhere. You could be from I was Jamaica. Naive. You were still on money, still. I just got into this little fl- like situation shit with this guy yeah. I was in uni I was living by myself and I would say I, I was naive I was yeah. lusting you yeah. get what I mean so through that lust I did some bad things yeah. and I thought that the person that I was doing bad things with had good intentions yeah. and I ended up losing all my money because of that so um <laughs> Yeah. Do you still see him now? No way. Did you see him after that? No way. So you wasn't really with him, innit? No, uh, well, <laughs> to be you honest. Know, like, you don't even know where he is. No, I don't. You and can't I'm glad. And I hope I don't ever see him ever again. But the point is, it's like the mentality of Nigerian men need to be cut. Because not all men are like that. But because of that bad experience that I've had, yeah. It will like remove me from wanting to see them type of men because you're just thinking, are all men gonna steal my money? Well, Nigerian men, are they gonna steal my money, or are they just with me so, for since, what I have? Since after, since then, have you been with a Nigerian? Man? No, I haven't. I understand what you're saying about the mentalities, but I wouldn't say not all of them are like. I did. Me, hello. I, I see myself as a one point five. From the beginning, what, what would you say? I am? Some. Would you say I'm a one point five or one point oh? Um, I would say one point five. All right, so yeah, like I'm a one point five, so I'm I'm not stingy. No, not at all. Me? That's why I'm saying it's not all Nigerian men, yeah. but the ones that I've come across, yeah. like in my younger years, were stingy. But I don't know if it's because they were young and dumb and just did fraud. Maybe and, they weren't young and, and dumb. They... Maybe they were grown, <laughs> grown ass men. Nah, nah, nah. I wasn't going for grown ass men. Let's put that out there. <laughs> but I was going for guys my age. Yeah, fair enough. But. At the time, yeah, I was going out with a fraud star. I was going out with somebody that was trapping. So, to be honest, I'm not surprised that he was stingy with his money, if yeah. I think about it. Did but he buy I, you things? No. I didn't get one tin. One, li- not even flour, not even chocolate. I didn't even get that. But then again, I was just <laughs> thinking, no, like, it's okay, it's all right. Because I'm not begging you not to. No, that's good. So, yeah, have your own, isn't it? You don't of need course. to make anyone ever, you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we can leave that one there. So, what's next, bro? All right, this, the last one I want to talk about was something I saw on Instagram, and it was kind of worrying, yeah? Mm. Like, some twins, identical twins, have one wife. Jesus Christ, oh God. Yeah. What do you so mean? So, basically, they're identical twins, like, look alike, everything. And they, share they married one woman, and they're open when she gets pregnant that she gives twins because they don't know which one of theirs it would be because you know they're both doing it together, all three of them together. Mm. So, like, I just found that very weird because I was thinking, it is weird, that's incest, bro. And not, not even that. What the man said is, um, basically, we both fell in love with the same woman, like, she he first met her. They were dating, and as a joke, I went out with her a few times. Then we both fell for her. Then we both married. As her. a joke. Yeah. So, what do you think of that anyway? Do you think hey, like, that instance, one is a if you had an identical twin? I am not you... sharing my man with my identical twin. Sorry. All right. What about your ex? Would no. you say go truth? Yeah, no. Identical twin? Whatever I've been with, you should not even be looking that way. 
That's what I'm saying. That's why to me, like, I there's, just found there's it a weird. bro code, there's a family code, there's mm. a girl code. Like, yeah. come on, like, and on top of that, that's just incest to me. Like, when you have kids, your kids are gonna be cuz what nephews and cousins. Nephews, cousins. Maybe why? Why brothers. the confusion when you can just find a normal <laughs> person and, and you know, like, Sorry. have your own family. But I guess some people just want to share, you know. <laughs> so I can't blame them. We'll leave that one there. Keep sharing. <laughs> it's not it. for me. No, the thing is, I don't mind yeah. sharing in it, but not with my family. I know that's yeah, that's mad. So it's just not that. But anyway, each to their own, no judging, everybody's life to themselves. What can I say? That's it. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you for watching. And we'll be back next week on more hot topics on Bear Talks. <laughs>